Hey guys, I am back again with another layout with Paige Evans Bungalow Lane. I'm absolutely loving this collection. Um, so I found an idea, it was a sketch, and I'm sorry I don't have a copy of the sketch for you because I can't find it now. But it had these three bands of paper across the layout. And I ended up turning the sketch because they had the bands going vertical. And I have a uh, vertical photo. And I thought it would look better with the bands going horizontal. Anyway, so I cut them down to approximately three inches by eight inches. Approximately maybe three and a half inches. And I'm doing my very best to... Um, actually get them on there even, which believe it or not, I did. I cannot even believe it because I don't put anything down straight, you guys. Even with my T-square ruler, I managed to get something just a little bit off. But here I am getting everything down, and um, you're going to see me come in with a piece of acetate, and it's acetate with some white birch trees on it and I apologize but that is from my stash it's super old and I don't know if it's still available but here it is and I decided I wanted to do an overlay over each of these pattern papers and I really really love how it looks um, I just glued these down with ATG I just made sure that I put the glue kind of behind the strips of trees so that you couldn't see through it and um, this is a photo of my husband out walking our dogs he likes to take the dogs out into the woods um, near our house and let them run and he recently purchased this cowboy hat um, on a recent visit to Texas that he took came home with two cowboy hats now we live in North Carolina and um, yeah he does not have any cowboy hats well now he has two <laughs> but this is his dog walking hat basically and so I really wanted to document this picture and tell the story of his new dog walking hat I will probably just put the journaling on the back of this layout um, because it's not like a super important story, but um, I still want to have, you know, the journaling down, but I'll put it on the back. Um, so here's where I'm going to place my photo approximately. And now I'm kind of going through some of the ephemera, trying to decide what I'm going to do. Now, I purchased the Happy Scrappy Bag from my little scrapbook store. Um, and it came with two packages of ephem ephemera. This package that I'm going through now, and then it comes with um, a package that has leaves and florals in it. So I thought I was going to use that love um, as part of my title, but I end up changing my mind. And this is actually right in the beginning of fall. So I decided to pull out some of the fall leaves and I'm just going to do two clusters one to the upper left upper left corner of the photo and then one at the bottom right corner and the bottom right corner is where I'm going to house my title now originally I wanted my title to be in the middle section but because I chose that kind of busier floral pattern for the middle section I really felt like the title in that section was going to be way too busy. So you'll see that I end up moving the title down to the bottom um, where it's a little bit easier to read and it just doesn't look quite so busy. So I pulled out the leaves that I think I'm going to use and I am going to pull out a few things from my stash as well. Whenever I do a layout, any, any layout actually, whether it's a brand new collection like this or something using something older. I have certain parts of my stash that are just random, that don't go with a particular collection, but they're things that I found that I loved, so I bought, and so I like to go through all of those things and pull them out 
for each layout, even when I'm using brand new things, because I love to mix the old with the new. I hate to have stuff sitting in my stash forever, and believe me, I do. I've got stuff that is sitting for years and years and years, and I always say I'm not getting rid of it because one day I'm going to have the perfect layout for this, unless it's not my style anymore. Then sometimes I will um, get rid of things, but now I'm pretty picky about what I buy, and I pretty much know my style so I'm just I just I'm really try to be more careful so I have these wood veneer leaves and I was going to put um, one of these in each of the clusters and you'll see that I changed my mind and I'll tell you why when we get to that point but I love these leaves I have no idea where I got them I believe they came from Michaels maybe years ago um, and I probably got them on clearance, but they're kind of one of those embellishments that you can pull in on fall layouts because the colors usually typically work really well. I am using one of my close to my heart place cards, photo placement cards. I am a close to my heart maker and I get a lot of kits from close to my heart, but I don't use the, the photo placement cards the way they're intended to be used. I almost always use them to map my photos. So what I do is just trim down my four by six or whatever size photo a little bit and use those for a mat. That way I do not waste them. And I love it because it's minimal cutting that I have to do and I don't have to cut into a big piece of cardstock um, in order to map my photos. So, and then I'm gonna use um, some close to my heart cardstock from my stash. This is one of our new colors. It's called Harbor, and I absolutely love it. It can it reads like a really deep navy blue, but then if you put it with greens, it almost reads like a really really deep teal. I don't know if you can tell that in the photo, but if you put it with blues, it looks more blue. If you put it with greens you get that little hint of that teal color and um, that worked out perfect with the colors in this in this collection i'm going to go ahead and pop up my photo on foam as well and looking at, i'm looking at my layout now and i'm pretty sure i put my photo down crooked but hey i got the papers down crooked so at least i got one thing right now i've got four leaves up there the wood veneer and then the three paper leaves and this is not how they're going to end up being laid out but that's okay i'm still going to use um three leaves um that that um teal kind of look on blue teal that one that was just too too dark and too big for that top cluster so i ended up moving that one down to the bottom it just I wanted that one, it, it was heavier. Visually, it looked a lot heavier, and that's why it seemed more appropriate for it to be on the bottom cluster. So I'm still kind of playing around, and I'm gonna try to figure out what my title is. I think I might have pulled out Hello. I'm not sure. It's so hard, I do my voiceovers on my phone right now, because um, I need to have something fixed on my computer. Um, so I, it's got this little recording band that covers up the bottom half of my layout. It's so frustrating. So I apologize if I miss some things narrating kind of some things that are going on on the bottom part because it's just that I can't see it. Um, okay. Okay, yes, I found this. Um, it says, do what you love. And... I was thinking about having it pointing right there to the photo. Uh, I let it sit there for a little bit, and then I ended up just putting it right on the photo. I liked that a little bit better, but this definitely fit this photo because he really does love um, going out into the woods with the dogs. I'm pretty sure he was a dog in his former life, if we had former lives. I'm not sure. But um, he is definitely like the dog whisperer. <laughs> so here's where I'm going to try putting my title here. And I want to use the, the thickers um, that spell out hello. And can, you can tell it is so hard to read over that floral paper plus the overlay. When you move it down to the green, 
oh my goodness, it you can, it's so much easier to read. So that's what I end up doing it, is just kind of moving everything down. So I, what I was going to do is have the title in the center with a little cluster below it. Instead, the cluster is going to be kind of to the left of the title. And I'm just having a hard time getting this straight too, I'm sure. But if you guys are having trouble with using overlays, like these acetate overlays, um, try this design. I encourage you to do that because if you can get like a tone-on-tone -tone paper that you can put underneath the overlay, and sometimes cutting it up into strips makes it not seem so busy. Um, I really am happy with the way that this turned out, and I sometimes have trouble with those overlays, so this really, um, this really, I just think it worked out really well. Okay, so I'm going to title this very, you know, clever, right? Hello Fall, because I just could not think of a kind of clever title, and sometimes... I can sit here and think and think and think and I waste so much time just trying to come up with a title and this time I was like no I just it is what it is hello fall it was the beginning of fall it's one of you know the best times to go out in the woods with the dogs and that's where I went with my title so I think I'm trying to make sure that everything's straight which it was not so I'm gonna fix that and put my photo down and then I and as part of the bottom cluster there is a dog sticker from the sticker sheet there's also an embellishment uh, piece too but I end up using the sticker and I nestled that in with the bottom cluster now obviously you can see in the in the photo this photo of my, this dog of ours is black she's not this color but that's okay it does not have to it really does not matter i really love how it works out okay now let's see here oh i think i mentioned this in my last video if you watched my last video with this page cap evans collection but see that little coffee cup there she's got all of those little pieces i just dumped out little like at they're kind of like epoxy pieces and they're sticky on the back. They are so cool, you guys. I'm really, really loving them and you get a ton of them in the package. Um, so I do pull out one of those to use as well. I've got my cluster. That's what I'm gonna do with my cluster up top. And then I just pulled out this little corduroy brad. That is so old, it's probably from five or six years ago. It's a Stampin' Up! product, and I wish I had a million more of them and in every color. Um, they're, they're like a corduroy material, and I just absolutely love them. So I pulled out two small brads, and I'm gonna put one of them in each of the cluster. And this is what I was talking about earlier, that I love to pull things like this for my stash. I also pulled that like glittery looking um, acorn. That is from my stash as well. I'm pretty sure I got that at Hobby Lobby or Michaels on clearance, I'm sure. And I just love the texture it brings in with a little bit of glitter. It, it's got some dimension. Um, the hard thing is, is, if you start bringing too many things with dimension, um, that can be difficult. So like to use chipboard in the same cluster as maybe using the acorn. Acorns are, those are, they're like a hard resin. Um, that would have been difficult. So that's why I did not end up using the wood veneer leaves because there was just too much dimension with the acorns and the leaves. And I really decided I liked the, um, the look of the acorns. Going ahead and setting my brad here. And that's kind of nice because that also gives, holds down that acetate a little bit more. And that top cluster is, that's going to be it for the top cluster. Now I'll work on the bottom cluster and I'm going to pull in one of those leaves from what I, it's, 
epoxy, that's what it is, um, at the bottom as well. So pretty simple layout um, with using the acetate. It, you know, I had to be careful not to get too, too busy, but I really love how it turned out. Um, I like mixing the foam um, title with the thickers. I just like that look of just it. The thickers are so awesome in this, guys. They look like a knitted sweater when you look at them close. Oh, they're so pretty. So I will leave links down below for um, the store. You can find this collection there. Um, if you just type in the search bar, you can type in Paige Evans or you can type in Bungalow Lane. It'll be super easy to find. If it's on waitlist in the store, click the waitlist because I know Michelle has more and she's in the process of putting it back into the store. So hit the waitlist button because as soon as she gets it back into her, like gets it in inventory again, you will get a notification and um, and she'll get that out to you. So here is my final, um, the final product. I hope you like it. I will show you some close-ups coming up here in a minute. And if you have any questions about my process here, oh, that's right, I am so sorry. I decided to back this. So I trimmed down the sides just a little bit um, and I wanted to bring in uh, just another color, you know, a, a foundation on the back. So I'm gonna gut that green cardstock and this is close to my heart cardstock, and um, I absolutely love our cardstock. As I mentioned earlier, I'm a close to my heart maker, and so I have a ton of the cardstock, and it's two toned. So you have a darker on one side and then lighter on the other. I ended up going with the darker green, and I, I just thought it matched really well with the tone on tone green that I used. And then of course, all of the trees in the photo. And it was really the trees in the photo that led me to use um, the green color rather than, I could have easily used like that golden yellow or the blue or the orange and the leaves, but I really liked bringing out a little bit more color from the photo um, to the background. So I'm gonna put that on and then that is going to be it. Stay tuned for all of the close-ups and I would love for you to hit that like button if you enjoyed this process and hit the bell for notification and that way you'll get notified when I put up a new video. Thanks so much guys for watching. I hope you all have a great day. Bye.